Hello everyone from Technology TV. First of all, I would like to thank you all for your great interest in the Treasure Meter series. Introducing Treasure Meter 2's little brother, TM 2's little brother, Treasure Meter 1, TM 1. ATMI ergonomic handle high capacity battery at your service with the best sensor on the market pointer feature. The live scanning feature is indispensable for treasure hunters with 2D, 3D and 4D imaging. Let's take a look at the TMI. A single switch controls the TMI. Charging LED and there is a charging input. As it seems, it is a very practical, very technological product. Let's start using the pointer in the program. For this, we first make the Bluetooth connection by pressing the Bluetooth icon. For the use of pointer mode, we click on the pointer icon from the program. We press the pointer icon. In the pointer icon that opens, we can reset with the node on the left. We can adjust the points in the center with precision to ensure accuracy. Or we can, with the speaker sign on the right, we can turn the sound on and off. To use the live scan mode, click on the live scan icon in the program. This is how we can finish pointer mode and switch to live scan mode. Let's run the live scan mode by pressing the live scan icon. We see the live scan screen. There are three icons at the bottom of this screen. The one on the left is reset and the one in the middle is start and stop operation. The one on the right is the 2D, 3D transition icon. For 2D, 3D and 4D viewing, click on the relevant icon in the program. We are currently viewing the page where we will take the shot range of over planning. Adjust the settings for the designated area to be captured using the available six icons. Click the manual icon on the top left to access the samples in the shot. As it is set that it will be taken manually or that the product will be taken to it automatically at a certain time interval. Automatically sampling the product at a specific time interval when we press on it once, when we press manual. We can sample the sample by pressing the button. Uh, we are realizing it. Second button from the left. When we set that the shooting process will start from the lower left corner and continue to the right, or start from the right and continue to the left. When we press on it once, it starts from the right side and continues towards the left. When we press it once more, it starts from the left and continues to the right. Third icon from the left. Choose the zigzag or parallel option for performing sampling. Set the respective icon to indicate the chosen mode. Zigzag realization means when the journey is over, when the other road is crossed, when the sample is taken by coming back, it is the method of attraction. Parallel means that every time the path reaches its conclusion. The other way is the shooting method in which the sample rotates from the beginning to the end. The icon on the top right is the icon where the width of the shooting area is set. The larger the width of the shooting area, the more it should be set here in centimeters. The second icon from the right is the icon for the length of the capture area. Set the height and length of your shooting area in centimeters. The measurement should be in centimeters, with the size specified. At the bottom is the distance you will leave between the two samples, that is, the icon we call step interval is useful. By clicking here, you have the option to customize the duration of your step interval according to your preference. When we press the OK button below, let's see the information that we are ready to complete the adjustments and start shooting. shooting screen we see. We see, there are four icons above and one below on the shooting screen. As you can guess, the icon below does not start shooting. The icons above are respectively interpolation on the far left. Next to it is the icon showing the detection values next to it. 
The rightmost icon changes the background color and it is located at the far right. You can set the background color from white to black by pressing an icon. Start your shot by pressing the start shooting icon at the bottom.